I'm only doing what you and dad did when you were young. Don't go, dear son. I and your father were responsible. We started when we were young. We had a focus. You're everything we have. I am focused, mom. I am focused. You forgetting the part where, when you were younger, back in the days, getting betrothed was a show thing. Get it so you and dad, you, 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 you eloped. You got married out of love. I'm trying to find my way. I'm searching. Searching? You mean by clubbing and throwing parties here and there? Well, you know clubbing has nothing to do with me getting married. Just stop it. It has everything to do with you not being frugal, son. So listen, you have a nice job. You have everything going well for you. Please, I beg you. Don't throw away your good upbringing. Please. There's something you're not doing right here. I beg you, change the circle of your friends. Please. You, you, you know what, Mama? I don't want to argue with you about this. I'm, I'm, I'm tired. I'm getting late from work. I'll see you when I get back. I love you, all right? Don't forget to stop by for your dinner. Don't keep me waiting. What is wrong with this boy? Say! Blood of catfish. Hmm? Why you be say? Since I don't become dead man for his life. Rich men, do they argue? They do they argue as if they the right argumentative essay for what? Hmm? Hmm? Why we say anytime we madam comes in begin? Now so then they argue. Argue, argue, my son, go and marry. Okay, go say, oh no, madam, you know that rich. Every time, every time. You get money, na trouble, you know get money, na they send this. Hmm? For what? Even a guy himself cannot fit to respect himself, unto himself, by himself, and even him to himself, come back on time. Now so guy with the worker every night, they come back every are you a night worker? Mm, for what? I don't want you to talk past my mouth before a guy will come and slap me. Excuse me. Come in. It's time, killer. Hey, brother. Don't worry, I won't miss that for anything in the world. <laughs> then let's get going. Uh, just give me five minutes. I want to complete this proposal and send it to MDB company before the HR comes over and over my office like a kite. Yeah, I see. And then you two settle it in bed as usual. Brother, she has something beautiful going on between her legs. You know what, man? No one would ever believe that the almighty HR will ever fall for you with a regular mean face. Bro, that lady scares the hell out of me. And she's a sweetheart, brother. She, she is one of the best, you know. You know what? I'm surprised because she cares a lot about me. Well, it won't be a bad idea if you two say I do in public. What? What? Come on, don't even say that. Never. I, I'm not willing to hang out my Playboy boots for anyone. Do you know how many beautiful girls are out there? Do you know how many babes are out there waiting for my attention? Just, you know, just want to be with me. They want to be with Brian. Well, that's where you get it all wrong. Saying a beautiful one's another year born. But we need to make a choice. Okay. We need to get going. I'm running late. I need to go home early to take care of the kids. And wifey, she's on night shift this week. See what I'm saying? You see what I'm talking about? Man, you, you don't you don't even have a life anymore. You can't even hang out with the boys. What, what, you're doing a job that a woman should be doing. Do you even hear yourself? What? I do it because I owe it to my family. My kids are always happy whenever I spend time with them. Hallelujah. And wifey, she gives me the best of the apples whenever I'm home. My man. So you need to get one for yourself so you know what I'm talking about. Uh, thanks, but no thanks. Um, I am awesome just the way I am. You know what, bro? Get a life. I will be in the car waiting. And remember, I like my life the way it is. Uh, cheers, but I, I, I like my life the way it is. Bye bye, close my door. <laughs> I should get married. You crazy? What you talking about, man? <laughs> Yo, 
your food is just the best, my man. Mm. Nobody, nobody comes close. I'm telling you. Excellent. <laughs> Don't say that. I am sure my daughter in law will be a great cook. <coughs> oh, sorry, <coughs> sorry, sorry. Mm. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Talking about that time, guys. Mm -hmm. some, of, some of my friends' daughters will make a good one for you. Might. Just might, you know? Whatever. Mm. In my line of duties, I've met some decent ladies. You know? And don't forget that your mother owns one of the biggest and famous advertising agencies in this country. I never forget that, ma'am. See, I also never forget that you are one of the biggest and most popular ladies in this country. But your beloved son reserves the right to select a wife of his own. Mm. All I need from you, Mama, is a little bit more time. Mm. Mm -hmm. Two months. <laughs> Mama, come on. <laughs> no, no. Six months. Six ah, months. No way. Okay. Uh, three months. Come on, three months okay. It's fair enough. Cross my heart. Three months and I will bring you the best um, daughter-in-law any mother could ever ask for. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> three months. Three months. All right. Yeah. It's okay, son. Just go home and rest, okay? Okay, mama. Drive safely. I will. I will. Take care of yourself too, okay, Mama? I will. I love you. Come here. Love you too, darling. Okay. All Bye. right. Bye bye. Bye, darling. Without spending the rest of the week in a man's house. Point of correction. It's, it's my home, not a house, not just a house, my temple. And besides, she's not even number one on the list. She's what? Number eight on the list, and she won for really? a privilege. <laughs> so tell me, who is number one to seven? Well, I don't have number one right now because she has to be number one. If you think about it, she started falling down in the list. I don't know, she found herself at number eight. And same thing you said about Rosalie. Megan, um, Helen, and then Jasmine. Should I keep counting? Well, I am a bachelor that simply needs company. That's all. Then go and marry so you can get a permanent companion that's and not the, company. That's the thing. I do not want a permanent companion. I just want company. Whatever I need, a woman, you know, somebody to you know, steal me at night, rub my back, you know. You need to get checked up, bro. <laughs> Where is the waiter? I need to get checked out. Waiter! That reminds me. That my son Brent. Is he married yet? No. That's the problem I'm having with him now. Really? Of all the ladies in Lagos, what is he waiting for? 
I don't know. He keeps telling me he's taking his time. Quite good. But not the whole time in the world. I've been talking to him. And I also do not like the fact that he clubs a lot. He needs a responsibility. Yeah. You know, you have to stop petting him and be a mother still. I am trying. Or is he into men? Ah ah. Ah ah. No, ah. now. I just asked the question. Brian loves women. He packs them like truck. In all shapes and sizes. And he's afraid to give up all that. You have to call him to order, my friend. I mean, getting him married will make him have responsibilities. Don't try. We keep trying. Peter. What? Mm. What, baby? I feel comfortable whenever I'm in your house. Really? Yeah. Hmm, that's nice. Baby, why don't I get to the market tomorrow to get something to cook for you? <laughs> yeah, I mean, you mean <laughs> get something to cook in my, in my house, in, in the kitchen, right? Yeah, of course. Baby, come on. Yeah, that sounds oh, so bad, but baby, I don't want you like stressing yourself, man. You're so pretty. You should serve me better in the bedroom, you know? Ma I'm know. not complaining. Baby, don't worry about that. Our bedroom is the place to be. That's where love is made. That's where things happen. That's where I get to fall more crazily for you. You know, I don't <laughs> want you hurting your hands, burning your fingers, you know. Your fingers are so delicate. I don't need you cooking for me, okay? We can <laughs> buy food, we can eat out, we can we can even get a maid if you want to cook, all right? Are you sure about that? I am positive. And right now, <laughs> as I see you, I'm, I'm like ready for the bedroom, you know what I'm saying? So like, can we just um, <laughs> uh, go upstairs, go to the bedroom and... Oh, that place you you know how to serve me better, you know? <laughs> Baby. Baby. Uh -huh. Can we go more one round? Uh -huh. One more round. I'm tired, baby. I'm tired. Let's uh, let's do it in the morning, please. Huh? I'm so tired. I'm even feeling so hungry, but I'm, I'm tired to go downstairs and get something to eat. Why don't I fix you something to eat? Oh, it's okay. We'll eat in the morning, all right? Come here. All right. We'll get something to eat and uh, I'll give you one good one, all right? Good one, huh? Hello, my Wonder Woman. How are you today? I am fine. Why have you not called me for the past three days now? Well, you know, work has been crazy for me. It's, you know, the workload has been so much for me. Are you sure it's the workload? Or is it about all those silly girls that cannot hold a man? Mom, mom, come on. Come on, mom, come on. Anyway, that's not why I called. It's over three months we had an agreement. Um, mom, about that? Um... Yes, about that. Mom, look, I... I just want to take my time. You know, we're talking about marriage here, mom, and it's not that simple. I want to find the right person. I want to find the right woman. I don't want to make a mistake, mom. So just let me take my time and I'll find the right person for you. Yes, I know everything. Don't lecture me. I've given you enough time. So it's time for me to be a mother instead of a friend. Mom, come on, Mom. Don't do that. Don't do that, Mom. Don't, Mommy. Mom. Hmm. 
least someone still have a sense of humor and a little upbringing left in him. Hmm. Son. Hope you had a great day at work. Yes, but not as great as what I'm about to enjoy with my mother. <laughs> I've missed you cooking. I am here now. You have good food to eat. Thank you. Yeah. You're welcome, my darling. Um, go over to the dining table. I dropped something over there for you. Oh, mm. I hope it's something really, really good. Where don't you find out? All right. Okay. okay. You're welcome. My darling. I hope you enjoyed the meal. Yes, Mama. It was excellent. I loved it. Okay. We had an agreement over three months ago. I've not heard from you on that. Mama, not now. Please, not now. I beg you, not now. Come, I want to show you something. Mama, just stop it. Please. I know you've been doing that. Just come over and have a look. Mama, I can do that for myself. I, please, I don't need that, Mama. Please. My Just take a look, see. Wow. She's 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 beautiful. Oh, really? Yeah, I mean I I told you. I like the way she looks. She's she's pretty. Come over and see my friend. Please. Brian. For the fact that she has a son does not make her less a woman. I mean, she's better off than those who would do otherwise. I really don't understand. I mean, of all the women in this city, all the beautiful young girls, single young girls in this city, you are forcing me, you, you're trying to convince me to get married to a lady that has a child. Do I even know how she got the child in the first place? She's a decent young lady. And yet she has a child out of wedlock. Listen. That she has a child out of wedlock does not mean she is indecent. That's a kudos to her. Look, 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 the bottom line is she has a son. I am a single young man looking for a single young woman, beautiful young woman to get married to. Let me patronize all those ones who don't have children first now. Do you understand me? She can, look for, she can look for a divorcee or... Somebody who is a single baby dad to, you know, managing their lives, please. Marriage is not about being young, single or no single, but maturity. Someone who is ready to build a family. Son, please, don't judge her by her past. I'm not judging her, you're not getting it. I'm not judging her. My problem is she's just not the person for me, mama. I want a woman who is going to give me her full attention. Not somebody who will be dividing the attention between myself and her child. 
No, I want to enjoy my wife, like really enjoy my wife before we start having children. Do you know? Spend time, enjoy my wife. You need a partner, not just a wife. A mother, not a woman. Remember, a woman is built, not created. Wow. Are you a philosopher? You can call it whatever, but remember, my first degree was in philosophy. Yes. Thank you for reminding me never to get into an argument with you because I'm just done. I'm tired, Mama. I can't win you. <laughs> my darling, listen. Just give this young girl a chance. You might like her. For the fact that you saw her pictures and fell in love with her, does that not tell you a thing? I mean, she doesn't hide the fact that she has a son from her suitors. She means well. She's ready to settle down. Please. Thank you, Mama. I really appreciate everything you've said to me. I have to go and see Scott now. Can, can I go? I love you. I'll see you soon, right? Mm. I'll see you soon, okay? Mm? Think about her. Yeah, uh, yeah, I know, Mama. I, I will think about her. Yeah. You know, she's a pretty hot damn show. Now I see the reason why you can't get your eyes off her. That's not what I'm worried about. What I'm worried about is her status. How? How do you mean? She's a baby mama. She has a child, son, to be precise, that is about seven, eight years old. I mean, what am I going to do with her? <laughs> I say, say, it's really awesome that you'll be that day before your starts coming. It's a sweet experience, I trust you. Don't be ridiculous, bro. <laughs> I'm not. See, it took my wife and I five good years before we had our first child. Well, we opted for adoption after a series of medical and fair sections. I don't need to start telling you. Blah, 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 blah. I know the story. So you see, God is trying to make it for you. Now you're asking for it. That's the thing. I did not ask for it. I, I don't want to be a father. I mean, I, mean <laughs> I don't want it. You know what? God knows best for us. God is giving you responsibility and advise you to accept it with all your heart. See, these are the kind of experiences you need to get busy with instead of going clubbing after work. Okay, I'm, I ended the call. You okay? You know what, man? You need this woman. I need her. Trust me. If your mother tells you that she's good for you, then trust me on this. She's good for you. You confirmed it yourself. You said both of you connected the moment you started talking on the phone. And she told you about her son she's living with. So you see, she was open enough to tell you about her past. You don't expect her to open up to someone she's not sure of. It doesn't make any sense. If she isn't sure of me, she would open up. It doesn't make any sense. We talk about future, family, happiness. It doesn't make any sense. There's no reason I should get attached to her, no. It makes sense to me. See. She's doing exactly what a real woman would do. Putting her son first. That's the thing. I want my woman to put me first. Not sharing the attention with some little boy. I want to be first in my woman's life. Come on, man. Stop looking for cheap excuses to leave this woman. Lose a good woman. She's not even my woman yet. How am I losing her? Anyways, I'm happy. My kids will have a new playmate. You're welcome. I'll be a bad so thing to you. Get away. <laughs> I'm being serious here. I'll be the player. Oh, oh. I'll be a bad big boy. It's all about choice here. Yeah. All up in the game, there's player. Coming to the rest, I'll be the winner. winner. Catching my groove, then Bella. Bella. I be a bad big boy. All up in the game, best player. Coming to the rest, I be the winner. Catching my groove, then Bella. Bella. I be a bad big boy. I be a bad big boy. I be the player. One 
bite to another bite. I move from Johnny, I move to Jane. One round to another round. I do salami, I do blaze. I can't get enough of the body. I can't get enough of your face. I'm ready to spend all my money. As long as you keep in me blaze. I can't get enough of the body. I can't get enough of your face. I'm ready to spend all my money. As long as you keep in me blaze. All up in the game, this player. Coming to the rest, I'll be the winner. winner. Catching my goof, then well out. Well out. I be a bad big boy, all up in the game, best player. Coming to the rest, I be the winner. Catching my goof, then bell out. I be a bad big boy. I be a bad big boy. I be the player. Are you okay? Are you having fever? No, mom, I'm fine. Sorry I woke you up. No, that's fine. I was um, feeling thirsty and I thought I'd come downstairs to get some water to drink. Oh, it's okay. See you in the morning then. Mom. Yeah? Can we talk for a while? I mean, I just want your company. Okay. Why are you looking at me as if you're expecting <laughs> something new? <laughs> Go ahead. I'm all ears. Oh. Ma'am, of all the ladies that Jesse showed me, why did you choose Amelia? And why is it that amongst all the ladies I showed you their pictures, it was Amelia you chose to? Ma'am, where are you be? Where are you being so smart on me right now? Well, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I just, uh, I just, I just liked what I saw. Mm. Yeah, I mean, she's, and I love talking to her. You know, when we talk to her before, she's intelligent. Okay. She's caring. Oh. And uh, she's beautiful. Mm -hmm. and adorable. Exactly what I saw in her too. To clothe it all, she's a woman. A mother that if anything happens to me today, I am sure that my son, his family, and my husband's generations are in good hands. One more thing. I want you to take very good care of Duke. He is your son, your first son. Please, take good care of him like I did to you. Please. Hmm? Good night, darling. Thank you, Mama. Mm. Thank you. Good night. See you in the morning. to have you come and take over this house. Well, sooner than you can imagine. <laughs> My bed is cool without you. Our house is empty, lonely, without your presence. I mean, you and Duke. Yeah, of course, our house. I mean, Whatever is mine is yours also, darling. I just want you around. I just want my family in one place. Oh, come on. It's going to be lovely. There's just so many things we can do together. There's just so much we can build together. Imagine I'm in the kitchen trying to make something to eat. If you were around, I'd probably just be in my room watching a movie or playing some video games with my boy and, you know, I just want you around. I do. I just want you around. I miss you. Sit down, come on, big man. Sit down, come on, sit down. 
All right. Uh, um, what would you like to let me drink? You need something? Water, juice, or something? Okay. Water, I'm juice. I'm fine. Hey, big man, you want something to drink? No. Okay. My name is Bryant. Good morning, Uncle Bryant. Good morning. Your house is really fine. Thank you. Thank you. I wish my mom had something like this. Oh. I pray for her every day to go bigger and bigger. But you know what? Your prayers are already answered. This house is your house and also your mom's house. Hmm? So everything in this house, all right? It's yours. You sure you don't want something to drink? No, I just want to play in this big parlor. Bravo! <laughs> play everywhere, play anywhere, okay? Ah, the television remote there. It's right there, okay? Just take it, watch cartoons or whatever you want to watch, okay? Let me give your mom a tour of the house. All right? Come on, darling. Well, anything. <laughs> so, uh, this is our house. Uh, now, you know? Yeah, so let me give you a tour. Can I call you my daddy now? Sure. You can call me your daddy if it makes you comfortable. Yes, it does. Great. So call me daddy. Hmm? Son? What? What are you looking at? I didn't say anything. I don't say anything. I'm bonding. It's called bonding. Okay, yeah, bonding. Bonding with my son. But you know you're coming home with me, right? Yeah, to pack his things and come back here. Right. What else do you think he's going to do? You're not going to do anything to him. All you would do is to pack your bags and come back to this house. When you're asking me for biscuits. You no, know, ask for anything. The boy is the big boy. Whatever you want, tell me. I'll give it to you.
Hunting in the wild in the winter Freezing out in the cold Looking for the fire to brown out Stuck in the mud when it slides out Feeling so weak and don't know what to do Oh, that's how I feel without you How can I go on without you? You are my home. You are my everything. My heart will break if I don't have you. And my heart can't live this way. My world will end if I don't have you. Hunting in the wild in the winter Freezing out in the cold Looking for the fire to brown out Stuck in the mud when it slides out Feeling so weak and don't know what to do oh, That's how I feel without you You are so beautiful, my wife. And you are handsome, my husband. You are God's perfect gift to me. From the first time I laid my eyes on you, I just knew that you are the perfect of God's creation. And from the first time I laid my eyes on you, I said to myself, Indeed, God's work is finished. You're my sunshine. And you are my morning light. Mm -hmm. I'm sure your mother is making something for you. Bye bye. Uh, hey. Mr. Man, where what? do you think you're rushing to without having breakfast first? Really? Yes, really. Why do you sound surprised? Because I've never had breakfast ever since I left my mother's house. Hmm. Well, that's about to change because now you have another mother and you're not going to have to skip breakfast again. No, I just don't do Good morning. breakfast. But no, I you don't do breakfast. Okay, sit down. Can please. we just like have a different arrangement? Sit, please. Thank you. Can you talk to your mother for me? Mm -hmm. Can you talk to your father for me? Yes. Man, don't let them do this to you, okay? Hmm? Be a strong man, okay? <laughs> man, man, you have no idea, man. Yo, if I had known what I've been missing all this while, I probably would have gotten married before you. Oh, really? You know what? This is just the first year of a marriage. I just feel you maintain the momentum. What do you mean, man? Do you know what I'm enjoying? Oh, you told me. <laughs> ah, you have no idea. Like, I was on my way to work and, uh, my wife had already made breakfast, I didn't know, came downstairs and she literally forced me to eat. Mm. Do you know the last time I had breakfast? That was when I was living with my mom, like, I don't have breakfast at all. This is an bro. For married people, not for... <laughs> Look, I came downstairs, right? It's not just the cooking room, the house was neat, clean, everything just spot on, like, right in place. My son was sitting, ready to go to school and the food the food, it was delicious, like, oh, it was <laughs> like homemade food. You know, that is a woman that knows the importance of being a wife. She's a virtuous woman. She is God's perfect gift to me. And you need to guide her jealously and be her man. And don't ever try to hurt her. She's my life. 
She's the blood that runs through my veins. Well, it's cool I'm hearing this from you. The kid I know. I'm not like a killer anymore, bro. I'm just, I, I am husband. So tell me, what have you been eating? Grandma, I've been eating everything. Wow, everything? Yes. My daddy buys me smoothie with shawarma and sometimes pizza. Hmm. Is he going to buy for you today? Yes, I'm sure he will. Okay, I'm going to share with you. Yes, Grandma. Hmm. My daddy is back. Oh. Hmm. Every hour, every <laughs> time you leave me here. Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> Remember what I told you. Hmm? I go inside. Mama, are you coming back next week? No. I will send a driver to pick you or your parents will bring you, okay? Remember to be a good boy, okay? Come on. I love you, my darling. Go inside now. Bye bye. <laughs> okay. To both of you, marriage is not a bed of roses. There is nothing like I am right or I am superior in marriage. Let honesty, communication be the foundation of this marriage. If you do all this, you'll see it working out for you. Hmm? I love you guys. Come on. Okay. Come and see me up, my darling. He's probably stuck in traffic, okay? Okay, you know what? Let me take you to bed. You'll see me in the morning. Hmm? start questioning me in my own house. Have you checked the time? You got us worried. And this is what you're saying to me. Look, I'm not a child. I can take care of myself. And I'm, I'm, I'm tired from work. Very, very tired. The last thing I need is your investigative questions. I need to sleep. Are you serious right now? No, Brian, are you serious right now? You got your son and I worried. We couldn't even sleep. We were panicking. And we didn't even have dinner. We were waiting for you. And this is what you're saying to me. Come on. I am not 12. I'm a grown-ass man. I do as I like. 
and I didn't ask you to wait for me. I don't remember telling you to wait up for me before you can eat or sleep. I need to go to bed, all right? I'm tired. Excuse me. Hmm. Bra Brian! Brian! you yeah, sure we don't miss you yeah but I, I see you so right for sure take care of your beautiful self all right let me get back to work i'll talk to you later bye-bye mm -hmm. I just can't get it. I, you know, I can't. I can't understand how people manage to stay faithful to one woman or stay faithful in a marriage, man. I, I, I just can't get it, man. It's, it's difficult. What do you mean? I mean, how do you commit yourself to sticking with one woman for the rest of your life? Like, who does that? Responsible married men like you and I. I wish. Excuse you. Wait. Have you been cheating on her? Why would you do this? Don't you know this is the cost of your marriage? I got it. I can't help it. I don't know how to do it, man. I just can't see myself leaving the beautiful life of. You know, having beautiful women all the time. At least every week, one or two. You know, it's difficult. I just don't know how to do it. I can't help it. Beautiful but deadly. Wait, don't tell me that was not your wife on the phone with you. No, oh God, Scotty. I love my wife. But I don't know how to resist all these beautiful women that come around. I just can see myself just sleeping with just my wife, my wife, my wife. No, this is it's difficult. It's kind you of have that. to. We all have the urge to cheat on our wife, but we just have to do the right thing. But tell me, how would you feel if your wife was cheating on you with another one? What? Exactly not right. You have to just desist from this. <sighs> Give me a minute. Hey, baby. Yeah, yeah, 6 30 p.m. It's okay. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Rush Lounge. Yeah, good. All right, I'll see you so. Bye. Really? It's just a hangout. It's a lounge, you know. We're just going to have fun. You can come. It's going to be fun. No. Thank you. I have a beautiful wife and children waiting for me at home. You don't need to use your hand to put fire in your house. You know, you really need to take care of your wife. You know, sometimes they know all these things, but they prefer not to talk about it. But the moment they do, 
it looks like a time bomb ready to explode at the right time. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I got you. But we really need to stop this uh, incessant desire for lust. I will, I will, I will, I will stop. I will stop. I mean, you know, I love my wife, I love my family. I will, I will stop. So, uh, can we go for lunch? I'm ready to talk. I'm disappointed, bro. I thought like you were my guy, right? You're like a guide for me, right? Huh? My friend who guides me, who helps me, and all that, you know? Uh, look, um, Jeff, yeah, um, find out who's heading the, the jockey uh, company's account, okay? I need to know who's heading the account. And, uh, uh, yeah, um, tell the marketing manager of that I need the Q2 appraisal. Yeah, I need it before the close of day. Okay, you just make sure you do that for me, all right? Bye-bye. Nutty girl. How we? How we? What do we have here? Ah, oh, come here. <sighs> wow. You know, baby, mm. we should be having this more often. Mm. Like, you know, 3.3. You know what? I've never had something like this before. It was incredible. Really? You are incredible. <laughs> you know what I say? Tell me, baby. The older the wine, the stronger and sweeter it is. Yeah, and I'm going to be swimming in and sipping on this wine for a long, long time. Every day, right? Every day. Hmm. Yeah, every day. Oh. What? Just that. Just that what? You know, I'm, I'm sometimes jealous of her. Just, you choose her over me. Come on, don't be jealous, right? It's okay. As long as we have us. Yeah. Come on, baby. Everything for you, mommy. Everything for you. Mm -hmm. It's just like you want one more. <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> What? It's 11.50 p.m. You're late again. Yes, it is. And what? Listen, we are married. And for this marriage to work, we need to communicate effectively. Listen, I don't understand what is going on and I don't understand what, what has been going on with you lately. What are you trying to say? What I'm trying to say is how you're treating me is not fair. You're treating me unfairly. No, what is not fair is you trying to question me. What is not fair is you trying to disturb my peace. I hope you're not thinking I'm cheating. You tell me. You tell me, Bright. Why a married man will come back at this time without any explanation or communication whatsoever? Work. Work? Yes, work. You are telling me it's work? Yes, work.
Babe. We need to talk. Okay. I noticed that we're losing our companionship and communication. And I don't like it. Listen, if there's anything I have done or that I am doing, tell me and I'll correct my ill doings. I need you. Our family needs you. I'm lonely and cold. We've lost our love. What did I do? You've done nothing wrong. Have I ever complained to you that you, you're doing something wrong or you've done something wrong? But your action says it all, babe. It said that you don't want this anymore. You don't want our family anymore. I didn't say so. I'm fine. We are fine. I am fine. We are fine. Okay? But you're not, you're not like yourself. Oh, God. What? Where, Where are you going? Me? To go and play with my son because my wife is giving me heat. Hey. No, it's okay. Don't. Are you alright? Yeah, fine. Why? <coughs> I noticed that you haven't put money in our joint account for like three months now. And I also noticed that you withdrew a large amount of money without telling me. Yeah, yeah, I mean, about that. I was uh, actually going to tell you about it. The thing is, I'm investing in something, something huge, and uh, it requires a lot of capital. Really? What investment? What sort of investment? Are you telling me that? As the head of this home, I don't know what's good for my family. I don't know what to invest in. Or I don't have the right to lose money as I choose without your consent. Babe, have that. That's not what I'm saying, okay? That's not what I'm saying at all. All I'm saying is that I'm your wife, okay? We should make these decisions together, right? And besides, there are fraudsters out there right now. We can't afford to fall victims. And two heads are better than one, babe. I am the man of this woman. I am charged with the responsibility to make decisions like this. That's not what I'm saying at all. I'm just saying that it's wrong timing, okay? Your son's school fees is due this month. That's it. It's about that, right? Your son, who comes first before me, even in my own house. It's always about him. That's why you're concerned. That's why you're asking me these questions. What are you saying? What am I saying? I'm saying it's always about your son. Always your son, your son, your son in every single thing we do, your son. For the love of Christ, I am telling you to be frugal. Oh, to be frugal. he's my son now. Yes, he's your son. You tell me to be frugal. Dad, frugal. Because well, well, I'm, I'm making stupid investments, right? What? <sighs> Duke. Um, my darling, come. Go to my room upstairs. Open the fridge in my room. There's a box of chocolates inside there. It's for you. Come on. Go. All right, darling. Mommy, I don't know why my husband has changed. I don't know. I don't even know why he's doing all of this to me. 
I tried talking to him. I don't know what I've done to offend him, but he's so adamant. Hmm. Mommy, I'm sorry I'm breaking this to you. I shouldn't be breaking it to you. But... Brian is cheating on me, Mommy. What? <laughs> he withdrew a large sum of money from our joint account. I asked him what he wanted to use the money for. And he said it was for an investment. Okay. But mommy, I know it's not for an investment because I know he gave it to a woman. A woman? A woman, mommy. I found out, but he doesn't know that I know. He hasn't even been putting his share of his money into our account for months now. I'm sorry I'm telling you I shouldn't. It's okay. It's okay, my dear. You don't have to be sorry for being right. Don't ever apologize for being right. Hmm? I know Bryant very well. I know what he can do. Don't worry. I will handle it. Yes. Since he has decided to mess himself up, I will throw him into the dustbin so that he can have his moment there. Yes. Money is not your problem, okay? Money has never been the problem of this family. And if the house is too hot for you, my darling son, I'm lonely, if you've not noticed. Now, come on. Hmm? Don't worry. I really hate fighting with my husband. I don't like it. He wakes me so hard. I don't I know, don't worry. I'll come to the house by myself. I'll talk to Bryant, okay? Thank you. For so meanwhile, let us go into the kitchen and prepare something for all of us to eat. Because both of you are not going to do, okay? Don't worry about pretty face. Let me see you smile. It's okay. Everything will be fine. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Brian, so you've gone back to pick up your Playboy boots where you hung them. Really? You left your beautiful wife in the cold every night to God knows where. I've been working, Mama. Working? Yes, I've been working. Did I hear you say you've been working? Look at me face to face. Eyeball to eyeball and tell me you've been working. Is this how you pay me back for giving up my life to make sure you are where you are today? No. I cannot give back to an irresponsible cheat. Come on. I played this game so many years ago before I said yes to your father. I am a queen in that game. Son, God has given you a perfect gift. Why do you want to throw it away with your foolishness? Why? We all have our lives to live. But only a few give it up for family. My child. Take up your responsibility as a man. I am a man. Really? Yes, I'm responsible. I'm a man. Take a good look around you and tell me you're a man. I taught us much. So you had a temerity to go to my mother and report me, Abby? Ah? My mother has never spoken to me in years like she did today. What did you gain? Tell me what has been gained. Nothing. I am a man and I have the right to sleep with as many women as I want to. And you can do nothing about it. 
Repeat what you just said, Brian. I said I am a man. I have the right to sleep with as many women as I want to, and you can do nothing about it. If you don't like it, leave my house. No, you will be the one to leave, and I promise you that. Oh, so you have grown wings, right? You have grown, you've grown wings in my house. But don't worry, I will make this house a living hell for you. I will make you miserable in my house. You pack your things and leave my house. You've grown wings to shout, standing up shouting at me. Huh? You will see. You, I will make your life miserable in this house. Hey baby, how was your day? Come, come. Come, Daddy must be tired, okay? All right, come, push your homework. Just before you say anything, just understand that I'm in no mood for your long talks or your interrogations. I lost my job. Christ, what happened? Christ, what? Did I just not tell you I'm in no mood for your long talks or interrogations? <sighs> okay, it's okay, Ali. I'll just go and prepare dinner, please. Just that. That's it. What? I don't understand you. What, what kind of person are you? Babe, what do you want me to do? I'll be downstairs. We'll be okay. We'll 
will be fine. Is she even serious? What's wrong with you? Why are you disturbing everybody with your silly play and noise? Huh? Sorry, Daddy. I, I will not do it again. I promise I will, I will not make you sad. Come on, sorry, sorry, sorry. Come on, go, go, go inside. What's wrong with you? Hey, hey. Make sure you read your books, okay? Alright? I will not be paying an outrageous amount of money for a dumb hair like you. Come on, go inside. I don't even know how I got myself into this mess. Ever since you and your mother came into my life, things have been difficult. Everything has gone bad. I'm losing everything. Silly boy. Babe. Babe. Okay, so I have made breakfast and I also made lunch, so, uh, and also juice, so please help me drop Duke in school, okay? Because of traffic, I'll be you late. What? What's the meaning of that? I have to help you drop Duke in school. What, what, what's the meaning of that? As your what? Your maid? House help? Or your, 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 your errand boy? What's wrong with you? Are you crazy? Honey. Honey what? So. That's what you've been praying for, right? That I lose my job, I sit home so I can start babysitting your son. Now, I've turned you to your, your house help and babysitting your son, right? Eh? That's what you wanted. Ever since you came into my life, you brought nothing but bad luck. Bad luck. Well, you know that's not true. What's and not you true? Know it. God knows that we are not responsible. No, 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 don't even put God name inside. Don't, don't, don't cry. Oh. Don't, 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 don't even try to cry. Don't die your crocodile tears. Don't even try to cry. What oh, bad luck to my life, bad luck woman. And now you want to talk about God, talk about God for what? We are praying for you. Pray for yourself. You are praying for me. Pray for yourself. Ah, I'm tired of everything now. Tired of the way I am, just sitting home. Stagnant, no progress. Eh? Now, it, it's gotten to the point where you are sending me now to go and be and babysitting your, 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 your son. I should go and pick him up from school. Next thing you tell me, go and fix food for me to eat. one time she will pick up even if she misses my call it's almost like she's about to die to start to call me back call me back until i pick up now i can call her one whole day she won't even answer ah, this life hey i saw it there i'm just bored i want to leave this house at least go and chill with one of them but you understand now 
you don't have money like that. I've spent on them now. Mom. Yes, Dad. I'm not happy. What is it? Mom, why is Dad always sad and yelling? Does he not love us anymore? Oh my darling, your dad loves you so so much, okay? He loves you so much. Listen, he's just going through a lot, okay? He lost his job. Eh? I miss my dad. So your dad misses you too. He misses you so much. I wish you, I wish you loves us a little bit. I will pray for him to get a bigger job and love us again. Oh, darling. Be sure your dad will be okay, alright? Everything will be fine. Okay? Alright, chill. Hey. Hey! What are you doing? Eat it! How many times a day do you want to eat in this house? Or do you think it's easy buying food in this economy? Sorry, Daddy. I want to do it. Don't oh, shut up. You won't do it again. How many times a day do you want to eat in this house? Or is it because I gave you the freedom? Now you're simply sitting in my living room eating. Is this a place to eat? Do you eat in the living room? Huh? My friend, get up. Get up. Go, 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 collect this thing. Go, collect this thing. It's in my living room. Have you seen this social social, social, social living room in your life? Go, go upstairs! And when you're done, you come back down and you wash all the plates and the dishes in the, in the, in the kitchen. Do you understand me? Go, 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 go upstairs, go eat. It's in my living room because I've given you freedom in this house. So you should just come and eat anywhere, eat anytime. Huh? Let's eat every time, eat, 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 eat. Are you the only person who needs food in this house? Or is it bad I've gone to bring you your mother in this house? At some point, every married man will have to behave like a baby just to attract our attention. And trust me, that is exactly when you know that pampering is a bliss. Well, kind of. What is it, bro? What's what? You've really changed. Scotty. Who wouldn't change after losing his job and life being difficult for him? I mean, who wouldn't change? It's not about you losing your job, but it's about your family you're about to lose. What do you mean? Okay, you transferring your aggression to your loved ones and punishing them for a crime they know nothing about is totally wrong. And if you're not careful, you might lose them. Fine, whatever happened was as a result of your carelessness, which every one of us wonder about. I saw Emilia. She has a lot of family body on her to start dealing with the mess you put yourself in. As for Duke, Duke needs his father around, and you're giving him a hard time already. You really need to be careful with the way you act or things you do around him, because he's watching you. Well, you don't need to lose your good family because of your fault. I won't let that happen. So pick up your mess and clean it up. This should be a total turnaround for you. Okay? I 
don't know what to do. I mean, it's, it's like my life. Everything is just in a mess. I don't, I don't know what to do. It's fine. I will sort that out for you, okay? Babe, babe, please, we're sorry, okay? We're sorry for anything that we might have done to wrong you. Please, just, please, please, please just come back to us. We're sorry. Listen, we miss you, okay? We miss you. I miss you. I miss it. I miss the man that I fell in love with with my spirit. I miss the affection. I miss the love. I miss everything. Listen, if there's anything, just yes, I'm guilty. I did it. I did. Hey, hey, hey. I'm sorry. <laughs> you did nothing wrong. I have been mean to you. I have been wicked to you. I've been wicked to my son. I wronged you. Look, I've blamed you for things you had nothing to do. I've been selfish. I've been, I've been enticed. Okay. I've been foolish. It's okay. Look, I've failed my family. It's okay. And I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm sorry, please. Forgive me. I'm so sorry. It's okay. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Hello, mommy. It's me. My daddy is very sick. I used the hand towel to clean his face. I want you to come back fast. Please.
My family. Oh, okay. Oh, your family is here. Is here. Um, young Master Duke and Uka Madam travel yesterday. Is here. What? Is here. When? Now yesterday is here. Yesterday, now um, Big Mama. Go, oh, Big Mama. He come yesterday. Come carry the come move for yesterday. No. No. That's not possible. My 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 wife was with me. In the hospital yesterday, she told me she was coming to the house to come back to the hospital. That's not, that's not possible, right? You see, I don't know about her, though. Okay? I don't know about her, yeah. Oh, before I forget, see ya. Oh. Okay, madam, see, I should humbly give this unto you, see ya. Thank you, see, I want to for that right now, see ya. No, no, no. This can't be possible now. No, no, no. She's my life. She's my life. She's, she's my word. They, 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 they're my life. They're, they're my word. I can't, I can't. No, no, no. This can't be happening. No. Come on, no, take a seat. No, take a seat. This can't be happening. No. This can't, this can't be happening. This can't be happening to me. Just be calm. Just be calm. I was so stupid. I was so stupid.
Mama. Mama. Mama, please. I need my family back. Mama, I, I, I need my family, please. Brand, it is too late. No, Mama. Brian, it's late. Do you know the pains you put that innocent girl and my son through? Brian, for God's sake, you, you left them. And now you say you're sorry? Losing your family is the price you pay for your inadequacy and irresponsibility. I cannot stoop to beg. Mama, please. I would never, ever do such a thing again. Mama, I know I was stupid. But if I lose my family now, I will lose my life. Please, Mama, you don't want that for me. No, you will not. Brent, you will not lose your life. You have to start all over again. Mama, I can't. And I'm sorry, on this journey, I'm not going to go through with you again. <laughs> the responsibility is yours and yours alone. I can't. You I can't do that. I can't start all over again, Mama. You Mama, can, please. My Mama, I can't. I have a family. I just want my family. Just help me, Mama. Brian, I... Brian listen, listen. You're a man. You have to stand up and fight. You have to pick up again. Start all over again. Please, I beg you, Mama. Just help me. I beg you. Oh, please. It's okay. Please, I will Mama. see what I can do. But for now, you're on your own. No, Mama, please, Mama. No, Mama. <laughs> Come and sit here, Mr. Brian. Thank you, Barrister. Wow. Hello, son. I expected you to be here with your answer. No, no, I, I, I don't think I need to come, so I, I can speak for myself. Okay, in that case, we can commence. Okay. You have to understand that this is not a law court. We'll try as much as we can to sort things out amicably. But where we fail, we can now head to the court. Mrs. Amelia is proposing that she and her children be given the house and one of the, your cars. And also a monthly allowance be given to her and her children to be able to take care of herself and her children. Um, Barrister, I'm a bit confused. I mean, you know, you've been saying her children, your, your children. As far as I'm concerned, I have one son. That's all. I don't, I don't have uh, other children. So is there anything I need to know, please? It's quite unfortunate, Ryan, that your wife, Amelia, got pregnant before you started your unruly behavior. Maybe. Maybe is that true? There is a, a lab result that proves her claim, Mr. Bryant. Look, uh, Barrister, I, I don't need anything. I don't, I don't need, I don't need, they can take everything. All I want is my family, okay? I don't, they can take their house, they can take the car. They can have me too. That's if she would, baby, baby, look. No, I, I hurt you. I I treated you badly. I I did so many wrong things. I'm so sorry, babe. I just want you back. I want my family back. I can't do without you. Please, please forgive me. I know I've been stupid. Please, Mama, please. Beg for me. Talk to her for me. I'm so sorry. Brian, you hurt me. I know. I know. You look me in my face. And then you said you had the right to cheat and there was nothing I could do. I don't know what you want to do, please. I'm sorry. I don't know what you want to do, please. Mama, I beg, talk to him for me, Mama, please. I just need my okay. family. I don't need anything. I can't have everything. I just want you. I hope you've learned your lessons now. I've learned my lessons, Mama, and I will never do it again. Good. Mama, I don't know what I would have done if I had lost my family. 
I was afraid too. I was afraid that I had to fight to convince your wife for the divorce thing. I don't want stories making headlines. My daughter, you have to support me. I have everything planned out, so you don't need to worry. My children's lives are at stake here. So please, support me, okay? Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. That's what every right-thinking mother, mother-in-law and grandmother will do to save lives. Thank you, Mom. I'm grateful to have you as our mother. You're welcome. Hunting in the wild in the winter, freezing out in the cold, looking for the fire to brown out. Stuck in the mud when it slides out. Feeling so weak and don't know what to do. Oh, that's how I feel without you. your suspension and that they want to see you at the office tomorrow by 10 and that you should come with me they said I should come with you like why they lifted my suspension and they want you and I to come like it's oh god I'm just happy they lifted my suspension baby. I'm happy for you to be, but why do I have to come with you I don't know Thank you, thank you. That my suspicion is even lifted. Oh God, thank you. I don't care why they want you to come with me, but I just, I'm just happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. Babe, why are you dressed? Your meeting is until 10. I thought you'd be resting by Yeah, now. I'm dressed to take my son to school and also to drop my wife to work. I have decided on being your driver until you give birth to our beautiful baby. Wait, what have you done with my husband? I mean, he's right here. Where is he? Come back. Okay. <laughs> mm. I love you. Love you too, babe. You are my gift from God. Mm-hmm. And you deserve more. I keep thinking about new ways to make you happy. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I start. I can start to get to you. You're a horrible cook. Let's go. We're going to be late. You can. I'm going to be late for work. Do I do I do I have recipes? I have nothing to do with you. Nothing else. This make your breakfast. Okay, I can, I'm making your breakfast too. You know, it doesn't you matter. You can't cook to save your I life. I can't do that. What to do? Oh, that's how I feel without you. How can I go on without you? You are my home. You are my everything. <laughs> Good morning, lady and gentlemen. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, dear. Oh, good 
are you? What are you doing here? I, I never thought you would be here. But... All thanks to Miss Modupe here. She informed me when this company was put up for sale. So I thought it wise to buy it as a wedding present for you, since I've not given you one yet. No, Mom, that's not true. Yes, it's true. I've known your mom even before you got employed in Dub Media. She has practically paid half of your salary. No, Mom, that's not true. It is true, my son. All your father and I ever wanted was for you to become responsible. And today, I am happy. You're a responsible man. As from today, Dog Media officially belongs to you. What? Yes, you're the new CEO of Dog Media. Oh. <laughs> and again, I want to let you know that willingly, Miss Modube here has decided to resign. Yes, I did apply for a study visa in Canada. And luckily, I got it. That's nice. Uh, congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Congratulations on your new life. Thank you. <laughs> now, this is it. Go live your life. Take it. Come on. Don't do that. <laughs> it's okay. Anything to Lisa. Out in the winter, freezing out in the cold, looking for the fire to brown out. Stuck in the mud when it slides out. Feeling so weak and don't know what to do. Oh, that's how I feel without you. You are the air I breathe, you are my life. How can I go on without you? You are my home, you are my everything. My heart will break if I don't have you in my heart. Can't live this way. My world will end if I don't have you. 